Tell us about this monkey, Carl. You're gonna love this one, Steve, Go right? On. Uh, yeah, so last week we were talking about how, like, a lad left his family because there was problems at home and that. He went and lived in the wood, he got airy. Right. No, leave it there, oh, Rick. We haven't got time to go into right, it. So that's what happened. And that's what happened. He lived with the monkeys. He went airy. That's, anyway, what, happened. that's what happened. Looked into uh, some other stuff about like airy kids and all that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Came across this story about a bloke, right, who worked in a zoo. Oh dear. Right. So um, troubles brewing. L loving his job and that, but it's, qu it's quite a lonely sort of job because you don't see many people. You're just dealing with animals all the time, right? Mm. So, anyway, well, he gets a bit pally with a monkey because it's the closest thing to, to a human. Well, that he is. Right. Yeah, but you can't really go that close to apes. Well, is he dangerous? What, what do you mean? What type was it? Do you Just mean let him tell the story. Was it a chimpanzee? I reckon it was a chimp, yeah. yeah it was I a don't chimp. even know. So it was a chimp. It was okay. a chimp. Yeah, but it doesn't matter, does so it? So he gets pally story. with him. Right, so he gets pally with well, him. Well, did they go on holiday together? Well, no, I mean, it starts, off, starts off just checking each other out and, uh, you know, probably sharing lunch and that together. Yeah. Right? Anyway, this goes on for a while. Is uh you know, they, they're getting on well and that. And then after a while, right, the monkey starts sort of imitating him a bit more and sort of walking upright. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah. Right? So he thinks, oh, that's a bit weird. Anyway, they get on really better and what have you. So he thinks, he could he could live at home with me, this. Yeah. Because we're getting on the storm. Yeah. Right? So he takes him home and before you know Is this the it, beginning of Beneath the Planet of the Apes? <laughs> I think it is. I think you've seen this on video. Well, I, I'm worried, because he's already <laughs> imitating him and they're moving in together. I'm thinking it's maybe a bit like single white female. <laughs> <laughs> single white zookeeper. Oh, brilliant. Right, so Go anyway, on. so it's moving in and it's getting used to sort of the, the normal human life. It's having a cup of tea in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Pinky uh, tips. As a... <laughs> <laughs> as a, uh, it finishes the day off with a, with a Oh dear. Finishes, <laughs> finishes the day off with what? With it does, a, a it doesn't have to move a piano at one point, <laughs> he does he? He finishes the day off with a little brandy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he pours himself up. Is he wearing a smoking jacket? Yeah, I'll tell you what, Carl. You're, you're listen, a maniac, listen, mate. Listen, no, this is, this is why it attracted me. It's amazing, right? <laughs> right. So, he's having his brandy and that, loving his life. Um, <laughs> next thing you know, he sort of, um, I don't know if he loses it or he gets shaved, but the top half of his body is hairless. hairless. Right? Apart from his head. Right? So he's right. got a nice... So it's the opposite head. of the kid. Well, no, yeah. This is what well, I'm that, saying. that would happen. Right. Well, hang on, but so you don't know if you he's don't shaved even know. or if How did it say, uh, then the, the I'll hairless, what, what? I'll bring it in for you, the story, and then you All can right, see well, if okay, I've gone wrong. Keep going, keep so going. anyway, so, wow. um, so this is going on and it, 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 he's having a great life. Then the zookeeper starts getting a bit annoyed because He's having a better life than the zookeeper. The zookeeper's in the this zoo. This is such <laughs> so rubbish. So the zookeeper's still got to do a day's work. The monkey's at home, he's partying, well, he's got his other Well, it gets to a point when he says, there's no point you coming in to the zoo, because the whole reason of you being there was because you're being kept there. Right. And he didn't want to bring the memories back, so he said, you stay at home. So you are ju you're talking such a- Just let him finish. God, I don't know if I can sit here and listen to this drivel. Let me- oh, I'm fascinated. It's, ne it's it nearly over amazing. anyway, right? It sounds extraordinary, Carl. So, <laughs> it, he's walking up, right? He's having a tea in the morning, finishing the day off with brandy. Um, <laughs> gets a bit out of hand, only tries it on with the zookeeper's wife. <laughs> Make him go away, Steve. How does he do that? Well, because he's around humans a lot, he becomes a bit of a charmer. <laughs> and, uh, but, but, what, but what is it that he could do to seduce her? Pick fleas out of her? He didn't say. He's but, built. He was built. <laughs> yeah, he was well done. Uh, so what, what about that? Wait, what do you mean, what about it, Carl? It's obviously not true. It's obviously not true. This, this wasn't on the internet. This was in a book. So, it's not a quick joke and just, uh, put it on a website. This is in a book. I don't understand how- I love that he becomes a charmer. He's got better taste in brandy. <laughs> and he- ah, oh, that what is- What was it that he was doing that seduced her? I don't know. I th maybe because he was at home more than the zookeeper was. <laughs> but what would he be doing? I Carl? love the fact that he's not going to be talking with her. They're not going to be playing like, trivia pursuit. Maybe, maybe she liked the silent type. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I, he didn't go into that. He just said it, that's when the trouble started. Carl, play a record. Right. <laughs> Is that what Suzanne did when she brought you in? <laughs> have you got? Any, have you got anything interesting about a monkey or an ape so we can do? Chimpanzee, that. I know something that a lot of other people will know, but I'll, I'll. Well, well let's do it then. Chimpanzee, chin what's it called again? Where should we do a jingle? Well, <laughs> do a little jingle for us then. <laughs> oh, chimpanzee, that. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Brilliant. That's great. Right. So I look forward to that every week. Yeah. Um, and uh, what's your interesting, interesting chimp fact? fact? Right. It's about um, this monkey ages ago. <laughs> of course. Uh, don't know where it happened. 17th century? I think it was a chimp. Right. right. Uh, <laughs> got caught having a fag. <laughs> <laughs> You know it. <laughs> what do you mean, do I know it? Oh, now it down. Those got, are chimps are caught with wood binds. Right, it, it got caught having, having a fag. So it was sent to court. <laughs> and, uh, Wait, was it underage? It was, it was, uh... And it got someone to go into the newsagent forum. Like, Did it get a bigger gorilla yeah, to go into the newsagent and get in 20 Rothmans? It ended up doing time. Because it was, it was Go back a minute, wait a minute, well, 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 No, whoa. I don't know the f- that's, that's as much as I know, so there's no point questioning. That is as much as you know, isn't it? Quite literally. <laughs> Sorry, but why did he go to prison? Uh, it's, it's against the law to have a monkey having a fag. <laughs> In a built-up area? What are you talking about? It's against the law for a monkey to have a fag. What if he got it himself? Even if it just, what about if it, if it earned it himself, just like moving tyres round or mucking, mucking out the zebras? I don't know the full story. That's you don't know the full story, do you? But do you think... <laughs> you never do, do you? I presume you? it was a monkey from a zoo, right? Yeah. Do you think it'd be fed up, though? Because in a way, it's home from home, isn't it? When I read it, I didn't think it was that bad, because I just Carl, thought, well, they don't put monkeys in prison. They didn't put the monkey in a prison. They're overcrowded. <laughs> they haven't got the space. Well, I'll, again, I'll find it and give you the, the like, the, where I got it from and you Trump can... Harris was furious because the monkey got the top bunk. Yeah. <laughs> can I just, uh, <laughs> and he, he did. Okay, then. Oh, <laughs> chimpanzee that. Another one next week. I don't think so. Ah, right, you'll like this one. Um, what I've found is, uh, found out, like, a lot of monkeys' names. Like, that's how I found out about Oliver. Yeah. What do you mean like, you found out a lot of monkeys' names? Well, there's uh, a lot of monkeys out there and you think they're just called monkey and what have you, but they're all given names. Right? So this- this one that I found about, bit of a weird name anyway, it's actually called Crap. It's name. Right? And- So it- they're- they're- they're not born with those names. It's not like their parents give them those names. You know, they're just- Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But this one. Right? And um- It's called Crap? Yeah, I know. Right, but do you know what it's famous for? What Crap? Yeah. No one. Is it involved with this show? <laughs> it- um, the first monkey- to have its name tattooed on its head. <laughs> yeah, again, I will say not by choice. There is no way that a chimp would go down to Camden Lock and go, uh, are you a registered tattooist? I am, yes. Yeah, yeah, it's the cleanest, yeah. Go, okay, um... Can I have a look through your book? Can I have a look through your book? Um, I'm looking for something quite gothic, but, um, uh, I'd, I'd like, you know... What's your name? Crap. Oh, I'm not sure I can do that because you're not drunk, are you? I have another drink. I have another drink. I've had some, I've had some, uh, um, bongo and that's all. Uh, but no. What are you talking about? The first monkey to have its name tattooed on its head. <laughs> what are you talking about, There's Carl? gotta be more information. Don't tell me you're leaving it there. There's gotta be more information. That was it and then I read it thinking, well that's weird because that means there's loads of monkeys with tattoos on their head. If that's the first one. No, it could be still the only one. The first and only. Yeah, but would they report that? Well, they, you what do you mean, would they report it? This isn't the Washington Post you're reading. <laughs> this is mentalists who do websites about themselves every day. Um, I, yeah, I, 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 what? what? There's got to be a third Why is that, that news? Story. Why is that news? What, how did you come across that? Well, do you, you First really... nut monkey with tattoo head, W. I mean, what are you talking about? But why did it have its name tattooed on its head? T I don't know. Didn't, it didn't say, it didn't say that. I, I mean, I, yeah, I know, it's mad. But, <laughs> but it didn't say why. Was that enough for you, though? Did you feel satisfied out having read that? Did you not have other I questions? mean, that, there's no way that that is in the Guinness Book of Records. There's no way uh, that that is uh, excited in the Guinness Book of Records. I just read it as like, what a weird name for a monkey. And then, <laughs> ooh, you won't have that on your head. What and, would be a good name for a monkey? I don't know, uh... Anything but that, really. Yeah. Uh, Dave. Ted. <laughs> but what do you think of that then? Well, I don't know what to think about it because I don't know what I don't know what you're telling me. I don't know. I don't know that that's news. I don't know that it's true. Okay. I, I I mean, I don't know where to start with that. Right, come on, monkey news. We're well, not. not we're not, it's not called monkey news. Uh, chimpanzee. We're not going to pack all the monkey stuff in. We've got a quarter of an hour. <laughs> what other show can say that? <laughs> yeah. We've got. Our, we're not going to pack in all the monkey yeah. news. We've got fifteen minutes, but we can't get all the monkey information. <laughs> right, come on. Well, you're going to love this one. Uh, go right. on. Is there a, uh, this other jingle? 
Oh, chimpanzee that! Right, um, I don't know how recent this was. Oh, God. 17th century? But it, ha it happened in Acne, right? Uh, if you're outside London, that's in that place in London. Um, and it's this monkey that's going about Acne, nicking DVDs. <laughs> <laughs> Even the monkey didn't go for videos. <laughs> Even the monkey knew, well, there's no point in getting on VHS. The grudge on VHS. You're having a- Do it back. Right, and there's a girl called Lisa who works in our office here, right, and I mentioned it to her because she lives in Hackney. I said, uh, you familiar with this? And, uh, she said, oh, I remember something about it, which annoyed me. The fact that a monkey's running riot, but she couldn't, she didn't know the full story, <laughs> and she lives there. What, is, what do you mean a monkey? Do you mean a, do you mean a chimpanzee? Or a um, monkey? I don't know, is he a zoo in Hackney? Is he a zoo there? I, I don't, don't know, know what sort it was, but it, it, it was like- Is going, there a zoo in Hackney? I don't know, I don't know, that's what I was asking. <laughs> so, right, um, get on with the story. So anyway, so yeah, it's been robbing stuff. And, um, <laughs> the p the other bit that really puzzled me, right, is the fact that- And you're not easily puzzled by monkey news? They took fingerprints. What do you think about that? <laughs> <laughs> well, they took fingerprints presumably because they didn't know it was a monkey to start with. No, they did. They saw it, they saw it, nicking stuff, <laughs> and they said, get fingerprints. What? So that means there's more than just one doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have a heart attack. He had to fax them to Interpol. Yeah, yeah. We know that is, yeah. It's Brian, it's Brian the monkey. Yeah. Yeah. So Sorry, I don't understand. He was stealing DVDs, specifically DVDs. Yeah, uh, DVDs, I think it said watches and stuff. What, breaking into homes? Yeah, in Hackney. Maybe Are you sure somewhere. it wasn't a kid with a mask on? No, seriously. How was he breaking into homes? They're good, aren't Up they? the drain pipe. They're good, aren't they? They're good, aren't they? <laughs> but why would they do so that? So is that the news? <laughs> well, that's what, how much do you want? <laughs> Is that monkey news? For, the, for this week. Well, I don't know that it's true. Again, I've got nothing there was, to- There was other stuff, there was another story that I found about a monkey, but I'd, I would like to know from someone if- in Hackney if- Do you know what I mean? And I missed that one on Crime Watch, which would've been good. <laughs> right? But there was another story about one that, uh kept getting on buses, not paying its fare- Not paying its fare? And just sat in a corner reading the paper. <laughs> reading the paper, Carl! You're an idiot! <laughs> well, that, that wasn't in London. You're an idiot! That, that was in America. It wouldn't read somewhere. the paper. Why would it read the paper? Because it was its way of sort of going, oh, well, if I'm reading something, maybe the inspector. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Carl. inspector will notice my uh, hairy hands. Oh, Carl, you're such a fool! Well, Pilipton! Uh, Carl, Carl, Pilipton. I've just had a news flash that an infinite number of monkeys in Hackney and nicking an infinite number of typewriters. Yeah. We don't no. know what for. At this stage, we've got no more information. And they've, they've taken back an infinite amount of graduate on video. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this is <Okay>. rubbish. <laughs> Sorry, what was the what was the sorry, sorry what was the monkey news quickly? There no, 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 no. We got to save monkey news. We'll have to do that when we. Uh, when is we're it next quick? Off. Is it quick? Going into the record. Uh, what the monkey news? Is it quick? Yeah. I, I can tell it to you quick. Quick then. Right. Jingle. Oh, chimpanzee that go. Shambles. Hurry up! There's a monkey in India, right, on a uh, railway station, waiting for the train. <laughs> No, don't mess about because I've got to get through it quick. <laughs> There's monkeys, monkeys sat there, and uh, this robber nicks somebody's handbag or something. <laughs> goes running off down the platform. The police are chasing them. Monkey steps in, trips the fella up, pins him down. Police come and arrest the fella. He tripped over the monkey. Okay, play a record. He didn't. He tripped over he the monkey. The monkey was waiting for a train. He tripped over the monkey. The monkey was waiting for a train. He tripped over the monkey. Did you check okay. the timetable? Okay, leave it. All right. The, uh, there's been a few things, but one that springs to mind is, uh, they found a load of monkeys somewhere. <laughs> right? This is brilliant. <laughs> yep. I mean, imagine this if this was news. <laughs> yeah. Go on. Uh... Where? Somewhere. I think it was in, uh... 17th century? Uh... I don't- it doesn't matter that bit. Okay. Right? <laughs> <laughs> found a load of monkeys yeah. that are, uh, having a good chat. <laughs> Go on. They're having a good chat. All right. They found monkeys that can talk. Yeah. Um, about f they've worked out they've got about five hundred and thirty-four different words that they're using. 
to, like, have a chat about stuff. More than you. <laughs> yeah, what do they chat about, then? Just, you know, things that monkeys are worrying about. Just, <laughs> you know, where do you get that from? Uh, <laughs> you know. Who does your hair? <laughs> you're going out with her again, are you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, Have you seen that, uh... Sorry, you can't just leave that. No, 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 I'm just intrigued. I'm just intrigued to know what else. Is there any... No, were I they, mean, that, that Were was... they discussing the humanity? Did you see that programme on Channel 5? Yeah. yeah. He can I walk think... up right. Yeah. That's good. But, I mean, what, Did you see you how mean, well he was? Do you mean they taught them, they taught, they taught themselves this language? Yeah. Where? Where is this? In the wild is this, is it? Um... Not sign language, it's but... It's in, in some jungle somewhere. They found these monkeys. He heard some, you know, some explorer was over there. Cutting through the the woods and that, and he heard his name, heard and he thought, "That's what he went. What do you want, Riley? It wasn't me. I didn't say. Yeah. I, I didn't say. Oh, Snodgrass, where'd you get that gun? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, I, well, it's only me and you here. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> weird, isn't it? No, it's not weird. It's not true. Well, but, right, come on. Then, what's well, next? Once again, but what I'm thinking. Well, I mean, that did happen. So well, right. It's that time again, isn't it? <laughs> monkey news. Yeah, monkey news. <laughs> oh, monkey, monkey news. <laughs> right, if you're a new listener, this is where we do a bit of monkey news. <laughs> <laughs> oh, imagine him giving his chance on a news program, yeah. like Newsnight Review or News at Ten, uh, over to Carl Pilkington. <laughs> yeah, all right. This monkey's gone mad again. Go on. Right, we've we've done quite a lot of good stuff. The one that sort of picked up most of the fuss was probably Ollie the monkey. <laughs> I, love I love the fact that they're all monkeys. He's a chimpanzee. Well, right. He's an ape. Well, today, right, we're looking at one that's uh, <laughs> it's called Coco. Uh -huh. right? Oh yeah, the one, the sign language one. Well, what I've read about him is he speaks, right? Oh God. Highly educated. Yeah. Photographer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Carl! Carl! Right. <laughs> I love the fact that when he gets a, you know, a gifted ape, he has to look up to him. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, he yeah. realises that he is superior. I love that. Right. Oh. And, uh, he also likes going on computer chat rooms. <laughs> And he won't see. I'm gonna be sick. Right. Oh gosh! Which, right, uh, that, that's pretty amazing. You know, if an infinite number of monkeys are in an infinite number of chat rooms, they'll eventually type, "Which is your favourite episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer?" <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Carl Wilkinson, you're an idiot. Hang on. on, I'd love to have some monkey news though. Go on then. Got any monkey news? Yeah, got some monkey news. Come on then. No, Rick, come on. Cheer up. Cheer well, up. it's it's a sort of like he moans that he's got too much time on his hands, and he comes up with that. Shh. <laughs> okay. Shite. Monkey news. The jingle, please. Oh, chimpanzee that! Monkey news! Uh, okay. There's excellent. been quite a lot of stuff going on. There was a few bits in that Guinness Book of Records <laughs> book that cost me 20 quid. Yeah, well that's not news, is it? They printed that probably last September. No, so that's there's, there's one in there. New music, new music! New, new monkey news <laughs> from last September! You're a lord. Come on. Waster. Police, Ricky. Monkey news. Um, <laughs> right. There was this, this monkey in, uh, in a zoo in Brazil. Right. Right. Mm. And uh, this little man monkey, little woman monkey, and uh, you're a scientist, aren't you? Go on. And they said uh, the people in charge were like, "Oh, wouldn't it be good if they had kids?" Brilliant, right? So uh, anyway, the chimps used to stand, sort of, you know, they'd have their little caves each, and they used to sort of, <laughs> they used to sort of uh, lean on the fence, having a bit of a chat and stuff with each other. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the, gossiping, yeah, gossiping. The, the equivalent sort of thing. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, they were getting on a storm and, like, the, the zookeepers were like... <laughs> Can you hear that cheapest chimps this week? <laughs> <laughs> okay, it was fascinating. Uh, yeah, just, just gossiping, I understand. <laughs> so, uh, uh, what's, uh, any monkey news? <laughs> I don't know, it's tuning in. What was some monkey news this week? <laughs> Come on. It was from last September. Go so, on. they were, um, they were, st you know, stood there having a chat and the zookeepers were like, I wonder if they're ever gonna, you know, have kids and that. Yeah. Anyway, it went on for ages, you know, this just chatting, no, no sort of action. <sighs> So what the zookeepers did was, they uh, they said, "I know how they love kids." Are we letting that go? Come they on. were just chatting. Are we just letting just, that go? Letting you know go. what I mean? They'd, I mean, just doing whatever monkeys do. Okay. Right? So um, so yeah. So the zookeepers were like, "Yeah, I wonder when they're gonna you know have some kids." Yeah. Anyway, what they decided to do t to sort of do to egg them on? Yeah. Um, bought them, bought one of them a suit, won a wedding dress. Right. <laughs> Keep going. No, I'm not. Having Shut it. up, Jervis. Fade him down if he's gonna interrupt. I wanna they hear got, the rest of this. They got, they got married. So and, they got uh, married? Yeah, they got married. Right. What? That's the end of it! 
That's... This is why I don't- Right, that's the end of monkey news. <laughs> that's the end of monkey news. Don't do that again, you've got no features left. Why don't you like that? Well, it's just not a story! See? It's like, it's about two chimps chatting, which doesn't happen. The zookeeper's going, I wonder if they're gonna ever have kids. And come on, they got married. That's the end of the story. What are you talking about? Hang on, just calm down. Let me just check that you didn't make a mistake there and didn't lose out. What do you it mean you didn't make a mistake? Wait a minute, he may have just left out a fundamental piece of information. What, the would, story? That would have made it into a story. Right. Let me just check, let me just check the facts. So they, they, they bought them wedding outfits. They were married. Did they propose to each other or did they, were they just forcibly Don't married? Don't encourage just, him. Just forced. To and then it. what was the outcome? Once they got married, what happened? They fell in love? Yeah. What? Whoa, it's quiet. not a marriage, Carl. Be quiet. It's not a real marriage. I don't know what you've got in your head. It's like the head of Homer Simpson. I'd go in there and there'd be a wedding reception and there'd be a couple of fights and they'd be talking about stuff. They got married. They fell in love. Did they have children? Um, they're not back off the honeymoon yet. <laughs> <laughs> Play a record. You got no features left. Well, anyway, today's today's story uh, was emailed in. Uh, so you didn't even do anything towards it. <laughs> well, so when you say I've been working on Monkey News, what you you printed that out? So it's the making of Monkey News. You checking your email? Well, Brilliant. no, I'm always looking at different options. At you know how much is going on. This yeah. is what makes me laugh when he says he's, he's really busy. Yeah, I'm doing other stuff and that. I'm doing other yeah. stuff. People are sending him Monkey News. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You get an email. I is it from it Reuters? Out. Well, listen, it's from Steve. Okay. Right? Uh, now what it is, is this monkey, right? Yeah. Don't know where it was. Mm -hmm. Uh, but there's a bit before the monkey anyway, right? Jeez. It, is this, no listen. Shoot me. Right? It's a bank. There's this bank, right? Busy bank. Normal yeah. day, everything's going normal, yeah. right? Busy bank, people going in, doing what they do, seeing about mortgages and stuff. Yep. Yeah. Everything's normal, everyone's yeah. happy, right? Yeah. So anyway, it's quite busy one day. Fella comes in, with a gun and a balaclava on. Oof. Up to no good. Right, I'll tell you now, Carl. If this fella turns out to be any ape or monkey-related species, you're never doing this again. <laughs> you, you are never. I do, so just if you want to finish it, it's at your own risk. But if this fella who robbed the bank turns out to be a chimpanzee, <laughs> that's the end of monkey news. All right. Okay. Let's All hear right. the end. It's a it's a lovely day in a lovely bank. Everyone's happy. Everything's normal. A um, man comes in in the balaclava. Man comes in. Starts, is it a man? Starts waving a gun around. <laughs> Shut up, Rick. Let me let him finish the story. Starts waving a gun around. Yeah. Right. Up to no good. So everyone's thinking, oh god, you know, wish I didn't come in here. It's not going to be a good day. How tall is it. the man? Shut up. Let's hear it. Uh, everything, you know, oh god, and he's telling everyone to get down on the floor. Yep. Everyone's in what? Thinking, in English? Shh. In English? Yeah. In English. So. Yeah. So everyone's panicking, everyone's getting on the floor thinking this is it, this is, you know, it's all over. Yeah. Just when you think, you know, it it's all bad worse. news, yeah. it's all bad news, doors swing open, little monkey wanders oh in. Oh god, it's worse. Shut up, Rick. Little monkey wanders <laughs> in, right? The robber's like, what's going on here? He's yeah. telling it to get down on the floor, I don't think it was taking any notice. No, right? it was just busy asking for coffee. It runs in, I don't know if it was kind of withdrawal or, or deposit or whatever, <laughs> it wanders in, right? Uh, go, goes up to the robber. Where did it- where did it come from? Shut up! Will you let him finish the story and then ask questions? That's okay. only fair. Okay. Wanders in, uh, runs up to the fellow with the gun, takes the gun and the bag of money off him. Everyone's like, yay, you know, we've been saved. Then the monkey starts backing out with the gun and the money. <laughs> Shut up! Don't sit down, sit down no, and finish. I'm having this. And it, does, it, does, it does a runner with the with the money and the gun. No one's seen it since. You are an idiot. I mean, you are. You have said some stupid things in your time. What are you talking about? It's a story that happened. No. What are you talking about? What do you mean? It backed out. It came in. Whether was it as an accomplice? Was it an opportunist monkey <laughs> robbery? What are you talking? Think, Carl. Think. I know it's mad. That's that's the idea of monkey news. We're telling people how how like how monkeys are, are pretty. You know, they're mental. Yeah, <laughs> they're up to no good. What are you think? They've never seen the monkey since. What did he have a get getaway car waiting? Did he swing his way to freedom? Where was this? There's no details. Don't talk rubbish. Well, uh, Steve, Steve emailed it in, he's got it off the net, and the funny oh, okay. thing is- Can I the funny it? thing is, the information there? Yeah, the funny thing is, um, it, it wasn't just him who sent it. I had that a couple of times, so 
a few people obviously read the story and said, you know, that'll be good for monkey news. It doesn't say anymore. It doesn't say if he went off to Spain. It doesn't say, you know, what, you know, if he's on crime watch. Yeah. It doesn't say any of that. It's just saying that's what he did. That's the story. And that's what monkey I news actually, is about. I've heard that they're making a movie version with Phil Collins. <laughs> <laughs> so I look forward to that and Judy Waters. So that's that's this week's Monkey News. If you got any, you know, well, if anything's no, happening don't bother. in your town. Well, no, don't bother. That's the end. No, that is the end. That's the end of Monkey News. No more Monkey News. Okay, so Monkey News, please. All right, all right. <laughs> Let's hear the jingle. Oh, chimpanzee that! Monkey News. Right. <laughs> now, before- before- oh, I'm and again, and again. Go on. Oh, chimpanzee that! Monkey News. Brilliant. All right? Um, right, before I went away, I told you about Alfred. Um, he was the- he was the monkey where there was a, a robbery going on in a bank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then remember. he nicked the robber's loot and backed out yeah. with a gun. Yeah, he everybody... sort of stole- he, he robbed the robber, didn't he? Yeah. Did he take his gun as well? He took he the weapons, he took all the weapons, so he was like a couple of robbers. He managed- because they were so amazed that a monkey was coming in, it was like- Don't what? talk shite twice. Right. Anyway. So anyway, got a follow up to that. Okay, then what was that, that monkey's name? Um, Alfred. That was Alfred. Um, so anyway, um, because a lot of people wanted to know, well, you know, what did he do? Did he go off and have a holiday? Did he, no, no, no. Right, so, <laughs> so, um, so the follow up is, what happened is, the monkey had the guns, had the cash, which was $250,000. Sure. Right? It went back to the zoo. Right? Uh, right, Carl, you're talking shit. Ricky, oh. I get angry with you when you won't let oh. him finish his monkey news. Right. Can't we just get out of the official Imagine thing? if people were interrupting Trevor McDonald. I don't- It wouldn't happen. I don't want- I want to make sure I don't get anything wrong. No, of course not. Um, no, so, so yeah. check the internet. So, uh, the monkey goes back to the zoo, right, where all the zookeepers come out and go, get him, he's- he's got the guns. Yeah. He hands out a couple of guns to his mates. What? Right. His monkey mates? His monkey mates, so they've all got a couple of guns each. Oh, Carl, uh, Steve, I can't, mate. I cannot <laughs> Just stand it. Honestly, I want to f scream. Please, I really get annoyed with you. They tried to do him a, do him a deal. They said, how about if- uh, I'm going, tell him that. I'm right. not going. No, I can't. Step out for a moment. Okay, we'll just do it. Look, don't ridiculous. listen, step out and I'll paraphrase what, what I hear for you when you come back in. Step out. Now, please, I need to hear, I need to right, hear the I'm end of this. This is monkey news, this is important stuff. Right. Right, Ricky now has left the room, he cannot- he cannot bear to hear, which is surprising to me. Right, so anyway, um, so yeah, they've got the money, and mm. they say to the zookeepers, how about, uh, we give you some cash? Yes. And they go- oh. Sorry, th well, hang on, sorry, the zookeeper said that to the monkeys? Yeah. Right. No, 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 the monkeys who have got the £250,000. Right. Say to the zookeepers, we'll sort you some money out if you let us go. So right. the monkeys say to the zookeepers, We'll give you some money. Yeah. You don't see any problem with that? Right, listen. Okay. Let, it's nearly finished. Right, I'm listening out there. You could, this is ridiculous. You go! What do you mean the monkeys say? What do you mean the monkeys say to the zookeeper? They were probably holding the money out, like, kind of going, look, you know, we'll do your deal. Right, okay, come on. Um, and what happened is, I think, uh, I think that- I think they were happy with that, I think they left and that was that. They- they- they wanted to get out of the zoo, because they didn't like it in there. There's the thing. Right, I, I don't- uh, Just have a look. Right, Carl, think. Right, how did they get out in the first place, this one? Just let Steve have a- So why did he go- so he went and robbed- he thought- uh, what, he knew there was gonna be a robbery that day, did he? He might have been getting some money before they went to escape, and then that happened and they had more money. They might have been withdrawing some stuff out. What do you mean? If no- If he was planning on leaving the zoo, he's gonna get his savings. What are you talking about? What have you read there, Steve? I, I've got a, I've got a feeling this is a review of one of the Planet of the Apes films. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Escape from the Planet of the Apes. I'm not certain. It could be Beneath the Planet of the Apes. Right. What I mean, Carl, think, think, please think. Right. So this this monkey, right? He leaves the zoo, right? He, so he leaves the zoo, which he can do presumably. What they leave him the keys or what? They're chatting to him, they might as well. He goes to a bank, what, what's he- what's he thinking of doing? Sees a robbery, probably by chance. He probably wasn't tipped off, was he? Or has he got one of those police scanners? Probably got one of those police scanners, didn't Well, he? I think he was going to the bank to get a mortgage to, uh, build a, a lot, sorry, I think he wanted an extension, didn't he, on his, uh, cage? Think of that, and so, he- I love the fact that he hands out the guns and they do a deal. <laughs> it's- uh, honestly, 
You've got the best, you've got the best mind working on radio today. It's incredible. So we're doing it then. Let's play the jingle. Oh! Chimpanzee that monkey news night! <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Good. So, uh, we'll sort of uh, get some monkey experts on maybe next week to dissect it. Right. You ready? Yeah. All right. Is this monkey? Right. Oh, yeah. It's called Jack. Yeah. Right. I got pally with this bloke who worked in a railway station. <laughs> <laughs> How? How? Pen pals? I, I don't know. I didn't say all internet, that. Internet, internet. I'm, I'm short on the internet. I'm short on the internet. So, um, anyway, he's helping him out all the time. It's this fella's job, right, to, uh, sort of make sure it's safe for the trains to come in, that sort of thing, right? But he's always working on his own, so he's, he's got his mate Jack in with him, right, this, this little monkey. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they're having a good time, they share lunch together and stuff like that. Anyway, it gets to a point when the fella whose job it is, right, he starts mm. getting old, uh, and Jack, the monkey, starts getting more involved. Presumably this is a chimpanzee as opposed <coughs> to a monkey, you mean? When I you say it's monkey, uh, it's generic term, you mean, you mean... You mean chimps usually, don't you? Yeah. Go on then. <clears throat> so, um, you know, he's, he's clocking the fella doing his job and he's thinking, I can do this. Right, the monkey. Okay. I love it. Yeah. He's helping out, he's, uh, pulling down the levers and stuff. Yeah. So the train sort of come in on the right line. Sure, 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 yeah. He's yeah, clocking yeah. it, he sticks his head out of the little window, see the trains come in and that. I have British Rider listening. Yeah. Right? Uh, in the end. Oh, yeah. The fella whose job it is, he lost a leg for some reason, couldn't work anymore. Lovely. Gave Jack the job. Yes. Right. Okay. The railway company are happy with that. I'm <laughs> sure they, 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 they interviewed a number of people, but he was the best <laughs> monkey for the job. <laughs> and that's, that's good, isn't it? Well, it's not true. Right. Once again. Well, it's not true. Don't hand Steve a piece of paper that someone put on the internet who is probably a bigger mentalist than you. That's not proof. It's not true. At no point did a railway company give a chimpanzee the job of signalman? It was ages ago. Uh, uh, what? Steve, when was it? it was before like before trains, probably. Well, it's, uh, in the 1880s. Yeah. Uh, according to this piece of paper, which is what you've based your monkey news on. Now, of course, I think ITN and a lot of the news channels, they tend to get lots of independent <laughs> confirmation <laughs> of their news before they give it out as <laughs> fact. But you've got an email from someone, so let's assume that's real. It says, for this, Jack was officially put on the railway payroll, earning two cents per day and have half a bottle of beer on Saturday. <laughs> that's what we pay you, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even get the beer. <laughs> oh, dear, he's not allowed to drink, are you? Someone emailed in, actually, and said, uh, Carl, some years ago, did you die and they took your face <laughs> and transplanted it onto that of a chimpanzee? <laughs> <laughs> it would make a lot of sense. All right, anyway, better monkey news. That's been, uh, it's been sent in. Right. Uh, Gareth in Catford. Right. Good work, Gareth. Um, basically, it's about this, uh, this monkey. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. In the jungle. Uh, it's got a gig at an hairdresser's. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you talking about? It's got, it's got, uh, it's got itself a nice little job going in an hairdresser's. As what? It, um, gets people sitting down, um, and what it does before the people have their hair cut, that, it sort of sits there, and it goes through people's hair, makes sure it's clean, and, uh, people are loving it. Right, people backtrack. So, so it's a, so it's a pet monkey? It's nothing to do with it getting a gig in an hairdresser's. It's a pet monkey. It's not working at Monkey and Guy. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, seriously, it, it's, it's in there. Uh, I think it might have started off as a job and then it's So what does it say? It says, Junior £15, Stylist £35, <laughs> Monkey £63. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't quite dry. follow. It's in the jungle. It was wandering about. <laughs> Right. Maybe, maybe it did But it looks good, its hair looks good. Someone thought, hang yeah, on. Yeah, but never ever, you see, people make that mistake with hairdressers anyway. I always say, well, if the hairdresser's got a good haircut, go to where he's going. Right. Right? Because that's yeah. what I thought when I read it, about having yeah. a good haircut. How often right. do you go to the hairdressers? Well, not that much anymore, sure. but, but I used to always think that. Yeah. You uh, used to go to a bloke who told me had his shack on a railway bridge that used to shake when a train went over. Yeah. Because it was two quid. Yeah, but before that, I've, I've never had that much luck with hairdressers. Before that was a was another place, and it was run by sort of you know these sort of wannabe gangster type people. Oh yeah. But they'd uh, 
you know, you're going what for What do you mean by wannabe gangsters? Well, sort of just, just petty crime stuff. You're going for a haircut and then you'd walk out with a video recorder. <laughs> do you know what I mean? You don't have to take it. <laughs> no, no, but they'd sort of spend ages flogging you that whilst cutting your hair. It was their thing. It's like, right, sit down, you're right. Yeah. Oh, you so know. for the weekend? What are you thinking of? Maybe a Sony. Yeah. yeah. So, and so that, that's when I stopped going there because it was like, this is what I haircut. I don't want to be hassled. It, which one said that you had the hair of a Chinaman? It's the fellow who works in a railway station haircut. <laughs> well, he should know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's been around a bit clearly if he runs a shack <laughs> next to a railway station. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, can we just go back to Monkey News yeah, for a second? So anyway, that's all, yeah. yeah. I didn't so quite follow why he, he, he's still, he's still, his, his salon is in the jungle? Or where is it? No, he, he was doing his, doing what he does in the jungle, right? Right. Um, <laughs> he's walking about, he wanders into the hairdressers. Yeah. Maybe they didn't have him on, like, as a job straight away, he was just there. He was said, this here. is nice. He's sat there picking the nits and oh, I d oh, Carl, I don't know where to start. Then it's just the, it's the it's the embellishment. You don't walk in. He walked from a jungle to an hairdresser. I mean, you're an <laughs> idiot. You really are. An idiot. I'd love to see you try and get a job in an hairdresser if there was another <laughs> monkey up for it. You'd never get a job. So he was good at that. People said this is relaxing. Apparently, he had really nice hands, soothing, yes. right on people's heads. He said, "Let's put him on the payroll." So let's put him on the payroll. What do you mean? Now, I'll give you that. Okay, this is the news item, is it? <sighs> Customers are queuing up to have their hair done at a salon in the jungle by a monkey. Mm. Judy, a pigtailed macaque, has a reputation as the best exterminator of head lice in Com Cane. She is so good, some customers fall asleep under her gentle touch. Mm -hmm. Regular Amporon Chekema said, Judy's hands are so soft and gentle, I really feel I can relax. But you know that is doing what it does naturally. It's looking for like salt and stuff in the hair. Yeah. And nits. It's not on the payroll. It doesn't complain about when it gets when it gets <laughs> deducted at uh, national insurance. It's not part of the union. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But but a good monkey news, you know, yeah. backed up with uh, with good tabloid <laughs> with hard, journalism. With so, yeah, with solid yeah. evidence there. So now that's I think we we should start marking the monkey news, Rick. I don't know what you think. Giving it marks out of ten, maybe. Uh, for both interest and validity. Well, for interest, I'll give it seven. For Carl's, uh, Carl believing that there was something to this monkey thinking it had a job and getting yeah, paid. But it was also <laughs> doing kind of perms. Two. And colouring. Two. Yeah. Ridiculous. Again. Yeah. Ridiculous. More monkey news next week. Hopefully, let's just hear that jingle again. Oh! Chimpanzee that monkey news! So let's have official monkey news. Play the jingle. Oh! Chimpanzee that monkey news! Alright, we've got to be quick. Go on, but, uh, this is something that was sent in to me ages ago and I don't know why I haven't done it yet because it's brilliant. <laughs> uh, we were talking about monkeys typing, mm -hmm. um, the Shakespeare theory and all that. Mm -hmm. Well this is about a uh, little monkey called Marty, right? Basically, uh, it's in some science lab, right? It's in there. Uh, it was wandering about out of its cage, right? The lab fella was busy on the phone or something. Yeah. Right? And, um... Mm. Typical. It's wandering about, it goes up to a, a PC, that's in the corner, a little computer, types down, my name is Marty. Right? Mm. So, the fella got off the phone, saw this on the screen with the monkey sat there, says to his mate, have you done this? Right, hold on, Carl. Let right. him finish. Oh. Before you question, always let him oh, finish. I don't know what to do. Time's against us, come I on. He said, uh, he said, have you done this? He says, done what? He said this on, on the screen here, saying, my name's Marty. Right? He goes, what are you talking about? As he's having an argument with his mate, saying, you're lying, you did it. Monkey's sat there, typing, this isn't a practical joke, my name is Marty. Right, and that's the end of the story? I, um, I'm not coming in next week. Uh... I think, we need, I, think I, it's, I think we need a week off. I actually think we need a week off. It's doing a, uh, a web chat or something. Uh, you can go online and have a chat chat with it. The monkey's doing a web chat? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Has right, he got his own website yet? His uh, favourite if, Buffy the Vampire and stuff here? I've looked at that, I've looked at that. Right. Do you believe that, Carl? It's all there. No, but do you believe it? Do you believe that monkey could type that and then say this is not a practical joke when he's all arguing? Weird, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh. What do you reckon, Steve? Yeah, well, it's obviously a, a wind-up. It's a joke. It's not even... You haven't even got some of the facts wrong. It's just a wind-up. Have you noticed the date? Is it April the 1st? It is April the 1st. You are joking. That it was sent. You're an idiot, Carl. 
It was certainly April the 1st, Carl. So you're saying the monkey knows it's April the 1st, but you and don't believe- And he's doing a wind-up, yes. Yeah, I think the- I think the monkey is, has thought, I'll do it on April the 1st so that people think that it's a wind-up, but in actual fact I am a monkey that can type and read. Well, it's that time. It's getting exciting, we've got Rockbusters results, but before that, a little bit of monkey news with- Oh! Chimpanzee that! Monkey news! <laughs> Carl Pilkerton. Brilliant. Nice to have- I haven't read that for a couple of weeks. Go on then. Alright, so, uh, is that this little monkey? Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, he lives in Morocco. Right, you- I'll just warn you now, you- you're on thin ice from last time, okay? So, make sure- is this real? It's been Don't say anything stupid, think about it. As you're saying it, think to yourself, oh, is that true? Do monkeys do that? Do they think like that? So, go on then. Uh, so anyway, yeah, so there's this ma magician in Morocco, right? Mm -hmm. Got a little monkey working, working with him, mm -hmm. right? Um, the way it used to work, uh, magician used to do his thing on stage, mm -hmm. do a little bit of magic, people loved it. Mm -hmm. Then the monkey came out, had a little cap, walked around the crowd and stuff, uh, got the money, had a good little team thing going on, right? Yeah. So anyway, the monkey's name was 86. Right. Because back then there were so mo many monkeys, it was like, oh, what names, do you know what I mean, what names yeah, do you use, names, what do you yeah. do? So yeah. they just like, named them, yeah. right? So this, this little monkey- What, well, he had, he had 86 mon- other monkeys? No, 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 it's just that because a lot of monkeys were sort of working back then, helping magicians out, you know, doing bits and pieces, busking, what have you. Just well, Rick, you know how there's so well, many- why would there be a confusion with that? I, I, if he only had one monkey, where's the confusion? People would go, oh, I'm not gonna go and see that, I wanna see 86, he's the better monkey. Do you know what I mean? What does it matter? I don't what, know what you mean. Well, why do they need- wh wh who, wh where was the confusion? With people going to the circus and going, what monkey are you gonna go see tonight? I don't know. It's, uh, it wasn't a billing, was it, with a monkey? But Rick, you, it's just the same with humans. You know, there's so many humans now that we can't give them names anymore. Yeah, they all exactly. They have, have numbers. Exactly, yeah, there's so many humans, you know, with five billion people. They, we can't give them names, it's yeah. impossible. But you know, with a few monkeys anyway, number working- Anyway, 22, go on. So anyway, so uh, there he is. 86. 86. Uh -huh. With his hat. With his hat, walking around, getting the money. Yeah. Uh, anyway, the magician, sort of, uh, you know, thinking about moving on. Cos in Morocco he'd sort of done all the tourist traps. Sure. So he had a word with the monkey, said, how about we, uh... <laughs> See? <laughs> no, let him continue. Think. He let, let him continue. He didn't have a word with the monkey. Let him continue. So what do you think about going over to Spain? Yes. <laughs> God. Sure. So, uh, the monkey was in agreement? So he said, alright, go on then, right? So, uh, so they get in the car, <laughs> and, uh, like the magician knew he'd have a bit of a problem on his hands because you're not meant to take monkeys out of the country. Yeah. Right? So he thought, right, what I'll do, I'll, uh, I'll get a car, right? Right. Uh, stick the monkey in a boot, right? Uh, get on the boat and hopefully sort of, you know, stick it in, a, in some luggage and what have you. Yeah. We'll be over there, we'll be earning big money, sure. everything's gonna be great. So the monkey was like, brilliant. So they, they get in the car, they're on the way to the, uh, to the boat. And, uh, pull over at a petrol station. Uh -huh. And, uh, just before filling it up, he opens up the boot and he goes, you yeah, all right, and then it's like, yeah, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> uh, so he leaves, he, he leaves the boot open so he can breathe and get a bit of fresh air whilst uh -huh. he's filling up. Goes in to pay the money. Yep. Pays the money, goes, uh, I'm just paying for the- Right, uh, it, this monkey is not gonna drive away in that car. <laughs> or, we're never doing this feature again. <laughs> Carl, what happens? What's, um, what's number 86 up to? So, <laughs> 86. So, uh... That's the ending, isn't it? That's the story. Come on, let- let Carl right, finish the story. Be, brilliant, brilliant, be. brilliant, brilliant. You're gonna love it. Right, so he's in the petrol station, and he's going, right, I'll pay for, uh, Pump 4. And the fella says, what are you talking P about, Pump, pump four? 4? Isn't that a monkey? No. <laughs> sometimes <laughs> I use numbers for monkeys, sometimes <laughs> yeah. I use- no, I mean Pump 4. Sure. Yeah, so he says, on. what are you talking about? There's no car at Pump 4. Right. <laughs> Keep going. You Sticks his head out of the door, yeah. the monkey's giving it some, uh, went over to Spain on its own. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Um, well, hang on, let's just- let's just get a couple of the facts right here. Right, what do you mean, couple of the facts? Right, there are no facts! So, it number 86, it number, number 86, 86 drove- he drove to Spain. You are- uh, honestly, Carl, I- you must know- It was an automatic. Right, Carl, how did he, how you did must he... know that is shit. There is no way a monkey- mad, That's the thing with his feature, though. He gets stopped though. at customs! It's mental. How would he get through customs, Carl? Was he got a passport? passport? No, he was sneaking about because he didn't have a passport. So he parked and then snuck through. Do you want the facts? Let me see it. Right, I'll examine this, Rick, and we'll play a record. Play a record, and, uh, because I can't- that's, that's- that's nearly as bad as the armed robbery. Right, go on. Yeah. Play a record. 
Yeah, better suede. Yeah, stay yeah. together. My favourite. One of eighty sixes favourites. <laughs> Is that monkey news for this week? Have we not got oh, any other monkey news? Well, well, it's just, it hasn't been that good. I mean, the one that I found out here, um, because we've covered so much in the monkey world, right, the fact that we've done a monkey that was a sort of half man, we've done a monkey that got a, got a decent job in a train station, um, can you think of any of the other? Well, that's just there? some of the great monkey news from the past. That's what yeah. I mean, so that's what you've got to compete with. So even though this is quite amazing, um... Just we'll tell us! Another monkey's got married. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not another monkey getting married. <laughs> what do you mean? It's got uh, another one, you know, it was knocking about with some uh, woman monkey for a bit. Um, a woman monkey. <laughs> they decided to, you know, get married. Yeah. They did. What had, do you mean they decided to get married? Was it uh, pressure from her parents? They had a, they had a good do, and uh... <laughs> they could do! Spread. I love that. Just, Peanut volivons. Yeah. Cele uh. Celebrated in a pub, and then they both went off to the cage at night. That's that's what I mean. Even though that is quite impressive, because but it's not true, <laughs> or it's a joke. It's nothing. It's not. And an over website, official sort of news website. Two monkeys have married in Romania uh, after a whirlwind romance. Well, that's <laughs> after a whirlwind <laughs> romance. <laughs> God, yeah, yeah, a quick one hanging onto the rope. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. She was in the tyre, yeah. he saw it, <laughs> yeah. he went, I have a go at that, they go, we've got to marry her now. Yeah. Her parents came and said, do you just, yeah. did you just show He was in a zoo tire? knocking one off, she went, I can do that for you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Guess say the monkey bridegroom was scared by the number of people attending the wedding and refused to get out of his cage. Oh. His bride was, <laughs> Not was, bloody Hello Magazine again. No, it was, no, I think it was like last minute nerves. Right, Like, right, you know, right. Legit, I, I'm yeah, single now, thoughts. it's like, you know, it's the big step. Yeah. But his bride enjoyed every minute of it. She was loving it. Yeah, she sure. She looked lovely, by sure. the way. She looked lovely. Yeah. Um, <laughs> did she look good? Reports she only appeared to have problems with her veil and dress. Do you see, you know, uh, uh, the, the, the this is the guest in I hope they didn't ruin it like Anthea Turner and maybe get sort of sponsorship PG tips or something. <laughs> <laughs> totally, you know, with strong plum brandy, so they got them drunk as well. So they carried on the celebrations at the pub, and the bride was taken to her new husband's cage at night. I, I really, I well, I apologise. Play a record. Right. right, come on now. Oh, chimpanzee! That monkey news earlier than usual. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to save this link now. Monkey news. Uh, we've done a lot of stuff, right, on monkeys, um, and most of it. Has been is uh, bollocks. No, has been has been like happy stories. Oh, is this <laughs> a sad? It's not. It's just gonna be like our tune, our monkey tune. That's Simon Bates, and uh, welcome to our monkey tune. No, but do, do you know what I mean? We've we've done we've done stuff about a monkey that robbed a bank. Yeah. Why uh, is that happy? He had a great life after that. <laughs> right. What and Marbella? Yeah. Right. We did. Uh, the one who who uh, saved someone's handbag in a railway station. <laughs> we've, uh, we've had a lovely marriage, couple of marriages, couple of marriages, <laughs> couple of monkey marriages. Yeah, um, yeah. There was the one who got a job in a railway station. Yeah, the hairdresser. The one who set up a business in Spain. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even I remember, don't that, remember one. that one. Either. But, I mean, uh, I'm willing to believe that that happened. Go on then, Carl. Um, but anyway, yeah. So today's isn't isn't that. Uh, isn't that happy, really? It's about, uh, some monkey, I think it was a chimp. Um... Who's an ape. Go on. It tried to... It, it, I mean, the story sets off a, a sort of a, a weird thing. Yeah. It's something about he, he went to Russia to do some business. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about, Carl? I, I don't... It, it I mean... jumped past that bit, though. It didn't start there. What are you... Do you know what I mean? It, <laughs> it, it didn't tell you what he was doing. It just said, there's this monkey, went to Russia. Uh, <laughs> to do some business. I know. Do some stuff. I don't know. Bit of monkey business. And, um, <laughs> anyway, didn't work out. <laughs> didn't work out! <laughs> so, they were furious! <laughs> we wanted a surgeon, you send us a monkey. Um, anyway, ended up being homeless. Oh. No, So it was taking a turn for the worst. What, couldn't even get into a, you know, like a tree hostel or anything like that? That's, that's, that's the problem. And, oh, uh, God. Ended up, uh, yeah, ended up homeless. Got in with some, uh, some tramps. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where to start. Come on, <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Um, yeah, so he's knocking about with some tramps and stuff. Um, 
you know, share and drink and we'll have you around a little fire. <coughs> um, they broke into some home, not sort of squatted. Right, so they're not flat. homeless anymore. Um, problem was, yeah, he had a, a, you know, a roof over his, uh, little area head. Yeah. And he goes, uh, oh, this is good, this is, you know, we're having a good time, this is sorting me out. Yeah. He had, had his He mate. said that in Russian, though. <laughs> what, 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 what was he eating? I don't know. Don't know, I didn't say. But they're in this house. Well, like, well, he could only be eating, sort of like, you know, fruit, nuts, vegetables that, I mean, they, they, fat classically just sort of don't eat, you know, pork pies and But they've got McDonald's coffee. in Moscow now, so. Sure. He probably turned sure. down on that. Yeah. 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 Anyway, there was a bust. Um, what? This was there, was a, there was a bust in the flat that they were squatting in. All the other tramps sort of knew what was going on, legged it, left uh, little chimps out there, got arrested. And they thought it was a real fella at first. <coughs> they were like, get him, you know, he's obviously just a scruffy bloke who hasn't had a shave and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hasn't shaved his back for a <laughs> yeah. while. Or his face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. His head. Got, yeah. Got him down the station. And uh, the boss was like, "What's going on here? We've got a monkey." Here. He was like, "What?" So you arrested the monkey. Well, so the uh, arresting officers hadn't noticed all the way to the station that he kept slipping out of the handcuffs mm. and was going <coughs> for the entire journey. They didn't notice till they got there. What did they put a hood over his head, maybe, and just like you know? I, I don't know. I'll, I'll give you the uh, give you the story if you want. Uh, there's the headline. What is it? What's the headline, Steve? I don't want to see it, but... The headline, this is once again from supposedly reputable news organisation Ananova, homeless monkey arrested in Russia. Uh. <laughs> did- sorry, did you read on or did you see the headline and make up that whole story? It's, most, most of it is there. What- most what isn't it. there? What- what bit isn't there then? Uh, no, I think- I think, you know, uh, Steve can have a look over it, check it out and stuff. Point but out it, the embellishment for me, Steve, will you? Well, what it doesn't say is, uh, <laughs> that the police didn't realise it was a monkey. That's what I was guessing. That's what I was guessing. Really. That they got it back and they said, what are you doing, we've got a monkey here? And they go, yeah? Yeah. Oh, God. There's some more, uh, monkey problems in the week. Have you seen the Alfreds advert with monkeys in? No. There's a new advert out for Alfreds, selling bikes and stuff. Yeah. Got some monkeys in it. It's yeah. caused an uproar. Why? People are saying it's, uh... You know, dressing them up in tracksuits and that is uh taking the Mickey out of Manchester. <laughs> it's, you know, it's not nice for the animals and that. So there's been loads of complaints. Well, they get a free it. bike or something, do they? I imagine. I think they kept the tracksuits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, nearly the end of the show, but we wouldn't, you know, we wouldn't let them down, would we? You know what it is now, don't you? Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news. <laughs> All right. Now, whilst I was in Cornwall, I wasn't online, I didn't no. have the internet, so it was like, oh, what am I going to do? And I didn't come back till yesterday, and I thought, is there loads going on that I don't know about in the monkey world and stuff? I was hoping to get some from the zoo that I was meant to be going to. Of course, that didn't happen. So, I said to my dad, do you know anything about monkeys? Have you got any stories with monkeys? Brilliant. This is a <laughs> no, this is what Trevor McDonald does. Turned out- he cut quarter to ten, he goes, <laughs> yeah. oh, I've got nothing. <laughs> Dad, anything happened? You got anything politics? Anything politics, Dad? <laughs> this isn't monkey news, I'm just giving you this free. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Uh, turned out one of his mates used to have a chimp. <laughs> right. Um, what do you mean one of his mates used to have a chimp? Well, two, two of his mates. Mind oh, you, sorry, yeah. Mate, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was thinking it sounds a bit far-fetched living in Manchester-like, <laughs> but if there was two of them. He had a chimp. Um, had to thump it in the head. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing what? Answering back? <laughs> oh, God! Tried it on with his wife. <laughs> Had to thump it in the head for trying it on with his wife! I love it. I love it. It's a proper fist fight in a pub in Manchester. Oh. I'd call him up, but he's one of them who, like, swears all the time. Right. Oh. I mean, it'd be good, it'd be good to get him on and C just- Let's interview him. Can we not interview him pre-record? We can bleep out the swear and I'd love to hear his story. a lot of work, that. 
Yeah, well, well, it, 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 well, we're not scared of work, are we? No, I mean, I'll get myself if you can't be bothered. Yeah, you know, so. I have a word, I have a word, I'll sort it out. Yeah, try and sort that out next week. Well, don't tell us the rest of the story then, let's let him say in his own No, but there was another one as well. Uh, some When you say you can get him on, but he swears a lot, you mean the monkey? Okay. I'm assuming he's more coherent than your dad's mate. But there's him, and there's some other fella he knows who had a funny name, I'll have to find out, because you'll love his name. But he was a drag artist. Yeah. And, uh I think he said he went, my dad went round one day, I don't know why, right? Went around there, knocked on the door, chimpanzered. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, I don't know what you're doing, mate. I don't know where, this place you live, next door there's an horse in the front room. There's chimps mad, running mate. round. Mad. Anyway, uh <laughs> Chimpanzers! <laughs> Is that it? Is that the end of the story? There's a chimpanzer in the door and that's the end. You sure it wasn't the drag artist before he shaved? No, I'm sure no, it wasn't your grand. Because oh. I like the really airy ones that decide they can be female impersonators. <laughs> yeah, your grand. <laughs> anyway. Go on um, then. This is the monkey news. So you got that for free. What's this going to be like, well, Steve? Well, let's have more jingles. Okay. Oh, chimpanzee that, monkey news extra. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Uh, another phrase. We've been talking about phrases today. Yeah, we have, Don't yeah. teach your granny when she's shaving. Yeah. Uh, don't teach your granny to suck eggs. Yeah. Uh, don't look horse in the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> don't let the chimp answer the door if you're chucking your cock in. <laughs> um, familiar with the phrase monkey business? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've never heard that one before, Carl. That's brilliant. Right, well, it came about, this has been emailed in and I haven't really had a chance to look at it, so I'm just weighing it up now. Um, oh God. Yeah, this yeah, is the biggest yeah, shambles yeah, yeah. on air, isn't it? Really? Mm -hmm. oh, I'm ashamed of it. it. I mean, what was Doctor Fox? Doctor Fox must have been really polite. He must have been thinking, I don't know how to put this. Mm. He, what, he, I, he must have wanted to scream and go, "You shouldn't be in the radio authority." My parents listen online. I can't look them in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> right, I think I've weighed it up. <laughs> um, <laughs> long time ago, right? Yeah. In the uh, old days, yeah. In Go the on. Amazon jungle. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Little family of monkeys in there. Mm hmm Right? Having a good life. Good. Right? Didn't have any predators in there. Right? <laughs> so, they were loving it. Yeah. They had a load of food around them, they had loads of banana trees. Yeah. Right? Mm, um, no, I don't think so. <laughs> no, they did. Sorry. I, uh, yeah. Everything's going great, so, they're happy in that. They go out of bed. <laughs> okay. Wake up in the morning, load of bananas gone. Ooh, hang on, interesting. Hold on, wait a minute. So, Amazon Either your dad's been around, or is it? This isn't the great Amazon banana robbery, is it? So anyway, turns out it was another load of monkeys from another part of the island, from the rough bit. <laughs> from the rough bit. From the rough bit. I love it. They, they went into a middle class area. Oh, oh, they're that the ones is... with the earrings and the leather jackets. Oh, that is brilliant. From a rough part of the island. <laughs> so the monkeys thought, well, there's no point getting into a fight with them because they're harder than we are. Yeah, yeah, of course, and they carry chains. So <laughs> I love all this conjecture. They got flip knives and this tattoos. Go yeah, go on. So basically, they said, let's do some business with the bananas. Let's do some business with the bananas. <laughs> this is such shit. This is such <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you talking about? <laughs> Right, calm down, we haven't oh, got much time left. Oh god! What do you mean they said it? Forget it. No! Forget don't it. forget it! <laughs> Carl, do not forget it! Switch the record off! Oh, Switch the record off! Christ. Switch the record off, Carl! What, what are you talking about? What did they do? Oh. Let's do Christ. business with the bananas. Yeah. So, they said, well, rather than them coming robbing them, we'll, we'll flog them. <laughs> so, that got a stop to it then. The people, the monkeys came, they didn't have money. They said, Give us some, you know, give us some bananas, um, and it says uh, So what, they exchange bananas for bananas? For, for, for berries and nuts. <laughs> so that's where the phrase monkey business... No! No, it's ...comes no, from, a little business no. to set up. Right, there, oh god, that's the end of that as well, so that's the end, that is a shame, that's the end of Rockbusters and Monkey News. Well done, you've done it in one show. Chimpanzee that monkey news! Uh, excellent. So, monkey news time on XFM. 
Carl Pilkington, the man in the hot seat. Carl, what have you got for us? Okay, uh, monkey news this week. <laughs> um, <laughs> we've covered a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we have indeed. Um, uh, <laughs> now do you know how, like, <sighs> there's places where you can go for, like, weekend rests and stuff sure. and you can, you relax, you sit in a little spa, you might have a swim yep. and stuff. Mm. Well, they've got a place done for monkeys. Of course they have. Right? They can go there, they can they relax, forget about all the stuff they've got going on in their head. <laughs> they can have a manicure. <laughs> right. It's got nice meals. It's, it's not called a manicure though, it's called a chimpacure. Beauty event. treatments. Yeah. Right? It's look good and stuff. Yeah, well look good, feel good, yeah. Now, you might think, well that's pretty normal. Well. The bit I haven't told you about <gasps> is it's actually run by a couple of chimps. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just. That's why I come with a chip. But, uh, of course it's not. No, 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 it is because think about it, right? <laughs> no, not think about it. What do you mean? Yes, it is. Of course it's not run by a couple of chimps. What do they do? Get a loan. Right. If a chimp wants yeah. to have a rest, yeah. Where would you go to a place that's run by humans that don't what don't they don't know what chimps' needs are? No. My point is this: How did they get it together? How did the two what two chimps, what Mister and Mrs. Chimp, went for a loan? So I'll tell you what we need: a spa. I think I think it started off quite simple, right? Just a, uh, just you know, basic basic stuff. <laughs> but they've chimps expanded over time because it's become so popular. It's, it's gone mental down there. Sure. <laughs> They've, they've all heard about it. Now the thing is, the problem is this, right? That isn't even the the top and bottom of it, right? Oh, Christ. The I problem don't... is, it's been going on and on and on, right? It's been it's been earning a lot of money and stuff. The monkeys are happy. The monkeys that go there are loving it. They're telling friends and stuff. They're <laughs> all coming to it. Now the the problem is, it's this little uh, little monkey, little man monkey, and a little woman monkey, right? Yeah. They were sort of girlfriend and boyfriend. Sort of. <laughs> it's an open relationship. They can play around if they want. Well, the problem is they're not married, right? <sighs> Now, Some trouble brewing. the lad monkey, fella monkey, um, he's getting quite old. Mm. And the problem is, because it's his name that's down on all the, all the Carl, stuff. Carl, all I, the forms. Actually, let him I don't, finish. I'm getting scared now. Let him finish. It's his name on the business, and the problem is, is his missus is kind of like, what's gonna happen? Sure. What are you getting this, away, are you getting this from? What Internet. Carl, I don't know where to start. No, this is the. This no, is just, the uh, can we just hear the, the end? Oh, this is ridiculous. So the problem is, the the the, the female monkey is worried that the male monkey is going to die. What's going to happen with the business? Out. What's going to happen? Of course. Right now. What do you mean the business? The the the. There is the business. It's a joke. Health Rick, you're not listening. His name's on the form. <laughs> <laughs> the male monkey's <laughs> name. It's in I, his name. Uh, now the problem is, oh, the woman monkey has got some kids, but because they're not blood, blood relatives, it's not gonna be handed down to them. And the court- they're, they're kids from a previous monkey marriage? Yeah. Right. Uh, so that, they're not gonna get it. Um, let me just check this out. Yeah, otherwise you don't wanna check the facts, otherwise yeah. you could look like a twat or t spouting shit on the radio. Please check the facts for scientific. Security. And they're, they're just a bit worried because they're saying that the people in Ohio, which is where they where they've got the the uh, the little health thing going on. So that makes it more believable that it's Ohio. Mm -hmm. um, I thought you meant it was Berkshire, in which it, case it would be rubbish. It looks like the local people are trying to get in there. They've seen the success of it, sure, and they're they trying to go in and take it over and stuff. Yeah. So give me the piece of paper straight away. Play record. That's the worst. That's the worst one I've ever heard. And you are, there's something wrong with you. You're educationally subnormal. Right, it's the time that most people I imagine have been waiting for. Monkey news. Play the jingle. Okay. Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news. Right. Um, Come on. Come on! It should be ready, Carl. Uh, it's amazing, isn't it? It's like, uh, uh, Nicholas Witchell. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, ooh, the bomb. No, no, that's not the first. Um, come on! No, it's always difficult, isn't it, to, to sort of find something that's good each week, right? Last week, we did the chimp- It is for us, yeah. Did, it, we had the chimps who were running a health spa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right? 
Uh, we've covered the one who, who nicked a car to go on to Spain. Yep. To wow. sort his future out. All, all shite. Uh, the hairdresser. I think he's, you know, we've done that one, the little monkey hairdresser. This week uh, we're looking at monkeys, um, that they're using- do you know, like monkeys, they, they, know, they know, they know how like- I've how lost the will to live, Steve. Oh, well I don't want to do it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but, well come on, just- come on! What are monkeys good at? What are monkeys good at? Yeah. Um, well, <laughs> running small businesses, <laughs> cutting people's uh, hair, and driving cars. Idiot. Yeah, yeah, they love Spain. Oh, and foiling bank robberies. <laughs> right. Yeah, they're great. Well, something else they're good at, right, is like weighing up the situation. <laughs> ah! Oh, God! If you stick them in a, in like a, a field with loads of, like, obstacles on it, right, they're good at sort of, yeah, I can get over that, and I'll climb over that, I'll swing from there to there, that sort of thing, right? Okay. So the people in charge of somewhere, I thought, oh, somewhere. Come on. I thought we can use that. We can use that skill, right? What? And what what the, what they've done is they've got a lo load of uh, little monkeys, right? They've given an IQ test, yeah. And the ones that score above eighty, right, get to produce this show next week. <laughs> <laughs> Join the army. <laughs> Right. How do they join the army and what do they do? They just, um, what they do is they, they set little obstacle courses up for them, they do that, they do a cross-country run, they do, um, the cross IQ cross-country run? Yeah. Okay. And then once they've done all that, they make them a little uniform, made to measure little uniform. Lo yeah. Slightly longer arms, shorter legs than usual, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, basically then they try to use a gun and that sort of thing. Yeah, of course they are. <laughs> uh, You're talking rubbish again. This, this came, this came through literally you know, pretty late, late on, so. So you've not had a chance to cooperate all the facts, as usual? Just have a look. <sighs> right, uh, it's the intro the bit I'm looking for is, well, A, why are they doing it? Why are they doing it? Yeah. Why do we need monkeys in the army? And, secondly, why are we giving them guns? I'll yeah. just check to see if any of that- I love the fact we only let gays in recently. <laughs> yeah. <Yep>. <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves. Yeah. Um, just have a look. I can't read it, I, that's too much pressure. But I'm it's sure rubbish. Just have, just have a, just have a, but have it's a rubbish. Hand. They don't get it's, again. It's the way that there are things that, that you there are there are animal cores, right? There are horses, there are dolphins, sea lions. Uh, you know, there are lots and lots of animals in the army, but they don't have to pass <laughs> an obstacle test as such, and they're not taught to fire guns. We'll You've straight away assumed that they're going to be there's going to be uh, loads of squads of men, and then just one little monkey in the middle. <laughs> Like, you know, he, did, he came second on the test. He's in. <laughs> He's in, boys. What do you think, Steve? You've, you've read it? Well, as ever, Carl, this is an arbitrary email sent by one of our listeners. You know what Ricky and I think of them. <laughs> and, and so we're not really basing this on hard evidence. We're basing it on the ramblings of one of our listeners. Rubbish. Once again, lazy, rubbish, uncorroborated, nonsense, the stupid test that you got wrong. Rick, that <laughs> sounds like monkey news to me. <laughs> <laughs> Play the jingle. Uh, oh, chimpanzee that, monkey news. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent.